What's up guys, Devin with Homegrown Performance. Today I'm gonna to be taking you on a tour of my 12 by 24 single car garage gym. All right, I'm just gonna start here in the front and I'm gonna work my way around the gym. So first up, this is the Rogue Echo Bike. This is my main source of cardio equipment. I got this on Facebook Marketplace. I highly suggest checking out Marketplace if you're in the market for garage gym equipment. So first up, the Rogue Echo Bike. All right, this is the West Side Barbell Reverse Hyper. This is from Rogue Fitness also. This is an awesome piece for a garage gym because it clearly folds up. It doesn't take up too much space instead of just some of those reverse hypers out there are huge and they take up a ton of space and obviously I do not have a ton of space to spare. So this is a West Side Barbell reverse hyper. Awesome for back strength, back recovery. Um, I do this before and after leg workouts and it's an awesome piece. All right, back here, it's kind of hard to see. I have two steel mace bells. Use these swing squats and I use these a lot for just functional style training. All right, this next piece, I just got this a couple weeks ago. This is the Titan Fitness Leg Extension Leg Curl Combo. Uh, I've been looking for one of these for a while. I also got this off Marketplace uh, for a pretty good deal. So this has been a cool piece so far for getting your legs warmed up before a big squat day. All right, on to the next. This is my dumbbell rack. These I got pretty much from six pounds all the way up to 100 pounds and 10 pound increments. I got these from a majority from Road Fitness and then uh, Facebook Marketplace, wherever I can acquire just dumbbells. The rack is a Rep Fitness rack. It was only like 200, 250 bucks, so it was a pretty good deal. Uh, this is just a little Road Fitness rack. I got bands, jump ropes. I got my belts on here, Road Fitness belts. Obviously, as you can tell, I prefer Rogue Fitness for my garage gym brand. So bands, jump ropes, belts. Below it, I have kettlebells. If you follow the channel, you know how much I love kettlebells and how much I utilize kettlebells for functional style training. So most of these are from Rogue Fitness and on it. One of them is from Rep Fitness, but uh, if you have a garage gym and you don't have kettlebells, you're missing out. So you need to invest in some good kettlebells. All right, over here, this is my rack. This is the Rogue HR2 half rack. I wanted a rack that had a pull-up bar and didn't take up too much space. So that's it's a, it's a half rack instead of a full squat rack. Uh, this is an awesome piece. It's done everything I need it to do, very sturdy. Uh, my barbell I choose that I use mainly is the Rogue Ohio Power Bar in the Black Oxide. Uh, super awesome bars, made in America, lifetime warranty. It's really, it's hard to beat a Rogue barbell for the price and the durability. This bench I got at a, I'm really not even sure of the brand. It's a good good bench, nothing too, um, nothing too high price or anything crazy like that. I wanna say I got it for like $150, $200. Um, I got it at, if you're in the St. Louis area, check out uh, Show Me Weights. This is where, like I said, it's a warehouse that buys and sells gym equipment. So that's where I got this bench from. So yeah, this is my rack and my barbell. All right, this is just a cheap pull-up and dip station. I also got off a marketplace for like 75 bucks. I wanted one of these. This I'll probably get rid of this in the near future, but I use it for dips, sometimes pull-ups, sometimes abs, but I really don't utilize it a ton. It's a decent piece of equipment, nothing super high quality, but it does the job. All right, this is a weight tree I got also at that warehouse. Here I have a, a Rogue Easy Curl Bar. Also, my plates that I use, these are from Rogue Fitness, the Rogue Deep Dish plates, these are awesome. The rest of them I just got at that warehouse. The brand is just standard barbell, just you see it most old school gyms or in people's basements or whatever they do the job, concrete plates. Back here I also have a Rogue Bella Barbell for my mom comes over and trains in the morning so she uses this if we are doing any type of barbell work. So the Rogue Bell Bar is a great bar to have also. Uh, I got three sandbags here from Rogue Fitness, 150, 150 pounds. Use these all the time, functional training, carries, thrusters, just an all around great item to have in your garage gym, very versatile. Uh, whiteboard is an essential, it's, I know it's not a piece of equipment, but I write these workouts, I write workouts on it every single morning. Uh, just an awesome piece to have. You can get these cheap on Amazon for 15, 20 bucks. What are you laughing for? 
Um, a little thing not related to gym equipment is everybody that trains in the garage gym gets their uh, Polaroid picture that I put on the wall, so that's something cool we do here. I also do, I run a, like a personal training like four days a week out of here, so everybody that trains here gets their picture on the wall. So it's just something cool that we do here in our, in our gym. All right, next up, we just have a standard 30 inch wood box, uh, a table for the speakers, some other stuff. Uh, people set their cell phones and stuff on it, but if we're gonna use it, we use it box squats, box jumps, dumbbell step up, stuff like that. We don't use it a ton, but it's a good piece to have and they're not super expensive. It's essential to keep your garage gym clean. Uh, I see a lot of people talk about leaf blowers, but I definitely suggest a, a shot back over a leaf blower. When I leaf blow this, it just goes all over the air and I feel like I'm gonna get COPD, so. Uh, I would recommend a shop bag, clean the floors, clean your equipment up. The last piece of equipment I want to talk about today is also new. This is the Bells of Steel lat pull down low row combo, 310 pound stack. Um, this is an awesome piece to have. Super versatile piece of equipment, pull downs, low rows. You can do press down, tricep press downs, cable curls, cable side laterals, all that type of stuff. I do a lot of functional training, but the people I train, of all ages and skill levels so we do a lot of cable work uh, pull downs push down stuff like that so good piece to have in the gym all right guys that's gonna do it for my 12 by 24 single car garage gym tour uh, 2024 if you guys have any questions about equipment or you recommend any pieces of equipment I should try out or get for my garage gym leave it in the comments no idea who that was and I will be sure to get back with you or try out the equipment. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see you guys in the next one.